So this was a novel. Huh. The island of Lilliput is probably very similar to how it originally is in the story, but you've got someone like Jack's character, Gulliver, coming from modern New York, so he comes to our kind of old, ye olde land, and his influences are put upon it, so it's got these pop references in it. The last half of the movie is, is Jack sort of discovering this lost world, and them discovering this sort of crazy architect in Jack, and him being able to bring all his kooky ideas from New York and having these Lilliputians be able to recreate it. He kind of modernizes Lilliput. He oversees the development of the city, and it becomes a lot like uh, New York City. The first time we see the hint of him bringing his modern world to Lilliput is when they build him his own basher pad, and they build him a media room. Your media room is ready! And it's supposed to be, you know, the 65-inch high-definition television screen, media room, with the lazy boy lounger. And what you realize is that screen is actually a Lilliputian theater. And there's Lilliputian performers reenacting all his favorite stories. The Titanic is sinking! But it was meant to be unsinkable. Introduces them to, you know, the cinema, the great stories, you know, Star Wars and the Titanic. And he kind of takes credit for all of it, since they don't know. It's like, yeah, he wrote all of these masterpieces. and. Wait. These are his stories. I'm sorry. I, I, you mean to say that you actually died in this shipwreck? Yeah, I died. That's what you're telling us, that you actually died. But I was resuscitated. It's, it's preposterous. The challenge for Rob and, and the designers on the movie was sprinkling in things that made Lilliput its own, that made it new and different. Conceptually, the first thing to do is obviously design your look. And with Times Square, where we're standing now, we had to design a Times Square that worked in the Lilliput world before it became a Times Square um, sort of adaption from Gulliver. So once we established that, we then started visually laying on top of that what we thought Gulliver would interpret as his version of Times Square from New York. He places a courtyard which is generally occupied by horse and carts into a kind of a Times Square scenario because he puts his iPhone up there and that becomes a giant screen. Let's get this party started with a little jam I wrote. His apartment in New York is in Times Square, so he's always looking out of his window and seeing Times Square every day and the lights are flashing into his apartment at night and it's just this tiny little space. And so that image he brings to Lilliput and their square slowly evolves into what you realize at the end is a Lilliputian Times Square, um, except every image is of Gulliver. Get your Gulliver's t-shirt, dress like Gulliver. You sir, get your Gulliver's t-shirt. Gulliver comes to Lilliputia and uh, influences them, uh, kind of riles them up into a sort of modern frenzy and introduces new ways for them to see the world and sees that their ways might be rather staid or rather old fashioned. And so he teaches them about love really and about um, letting their hair down. There's no particular sign that I'm more compatible with. I just want your extra time and your kiss. He teaches us more than anything to loosen up and be comfortable with ourselves, but that turns out to be the ruin of Lilliput a little bit. We get a little too lax, because Lilliput is a, is a civilization of great builders and craftsmen and workers, and Gulliver is a real slacker. So he sets up a, uh, a foosball tournament where Lilliputians will try to get the ball in the goal versus my, uh, my foosball apparatus. Playing foosball with real people. On, 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 the, on the machine, you know? Which is, I've never, I haven't seen it, but, but I love the idea. Their side is actually strapped in and they're tied up on the bar and spinning around and he's controlling it. As Gulliver sort of has more and more of an influence on them. The costumes have been adapted and into being more modern looking. Yes, I think Lilliput as a whole becomes looser and more 
more willing to bend. Do you see? Without the corset, we're all more flexible. Oh, it's many layers, that's what I'm going to say to you. I'm glad that we changed it a bit and modernised it and the comedy is a bit more modern. Strangely, some of the, the, the larger set pieces, particularly when I get weed on, is in the book, you know, which is extraordinary. There were a lot of water sports in the early days. Yeah,